Oh, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for the Vol Classic. Because Tuesday, twenty third of January, only five days till the Met. Twenty two pentrometer, seven meter false rail at the six hundred meter mark. Uh, uh, six meters at the six hundred meter mark. So the false rail is going to help most of them get a run. <clears throat> and uh, it's a most interesting card. This we start off with the first race, which is Juvenile played for Philly Stars Meters. Well, the incredibly impressive winner Armand C uh, comes out again. Now this uh, one by five and a half lengths, first time out, and she should be able to put this field to bed. The only Philly that had a chance, it's her way, has been scratched, and you can see why. Um, these tables are very close. Uh, race uh, number three is a stable companion. Uh, Golden Chandler, and he does look like the big danger, but uh, there's no big danger here to arm and see if she's at her best. Right, race two, uh, maiden plate, 1,600 metres. Well, the first time runner uh, that ran extremely well first time was nine, Marauding Horde. Uh, behind the same stables, Colours, Presley, and uh, certainly um, got to have a very big chance on the way this one ran. Matsuyama keeps the ride and ran on really well. I think the big danger is going to be number three, a rock of, uh, a rock of Bismantova. I think this horse is going to go really well. Took a huge drift last time out there. All types of excuses, but on collateral form, will go well. Uh, at rhyme, number two, definitely got a chance. McCauley gets the right for the match at Outfit. Race three. Maiden plate, fillies and mares, they go 1,600 metres. And uh, this is quite a difficult race. One work of life will go well, the work of life. Pierce Stratum gets aboard it, and that will give it a chance. Four, Villa Semenya shows pace. Improved last run, Kamalo gets aboard it again. That will give it a very big chance. But then Francis Ethel, um, nice first run as well. Should be there or thereabouts. And then the hot favourite will be nine, Kissing Machine. Well, I don't know. I'm very nervous of the stable with hot favourites. Um, as we saw yesterday, we thought one was an absolute blinder and uh, got run over. Uh, very difficult to uh, be with uh, the team, but should be able to win it. Uh, 11, say with roses. Say it with roses. Got to have some sort of chance as well. Race four. Um, there's a 1600 meter merit rated handicap, and Eiffel Tower ran a pretty good race last time out. He's got good form, this horse. Ryan's Boulevard as well, two and a half lengths behind Presley. That will stand him in good stead here. The hot favorite nine, Weather Wizard. Well, does look like the right horse off crawl, too. Lots to like about Weather Wizard. Archimedes shows pace, and the find of the race would be seven, Haslow Grande. Look for this horse to improve. I don't leave him out of anything. Race five, merit rated handicap, 1,400 metres. <clears throat> and number, uh, number four, fully automatics is a favourite, the Weber runner. And this horse has run very well. His last four starts suddenly found some form and um, looks like a player in this race. The rest have all got chances. I thought Tambi might improve, but it comes back from a long rest. Vava Vegas also comes back from a long rest. And this one likes a soft. And then, so, anytime champ, always like this horse, always going to put him in, he will go into all my play. Race six, merit rated handicap, 74, 14, 50 metres. My Lady Soul comes... Uh, to a race course that she should do really well on. She's got some form, this um, Philly Ryan Munger, see him back in South Africa, uh, has got a chance on it. Uh, Miss Shavi, third run after a rest. This looks absolutely ready, number eight. So put her into your play. And then all of Miss Hannigan, Courageous, Alicia's Love and Ms. Mast have got some sort of chance, but my lady soul should have this lot absolutely at their mercy. Race seven, mirror red handicap fillies and mares, 14.50. And uh, what a honey, really nice last run. I think she'll go well. Uh, River Carraris gets straight him. That's got to give her a chance in the beginning third run. Look for her to improve and magical flight. Ignore its last start completely. So that leaves us with um, the two stable companions. Vix Princess, very good post maiden win. And then uh, Runaway Bomb. Uh, certainly they've drawn one and two these horses will be very interesting to watch the betting moves 
and uh, to watch uh, how the race is run. One of them will be on the burn. Race eight, middle stakes, 1,000 meters, and uh, I'm going with Karang Tang. Uh, I think this horse is um, dying to go this trip. He's very good at this trip. Course and distance, 2-1-1. I, I just think that he'll, he's coming back. He's come from 110 to 100. Gives him a big chance in a race like this. Ice Star is a big danger. Now, there's a blinker strike. Um, got very good form as well. Course and distance, 2-1-1-2. One, one, Dennis Schwarz takes the ride on this one, drawn one. Kualami, another blinker strike. And Smith & Wesson loves the course and distance as well. Gets Calvin, gives it a chance too. Race um, 9, Phillies and Mares Handicap, 1,000 metres. Netlong gets six points for winning, but that won't stop her. She should be there or thereabouts in this type of field. I think the big dangers are four Midnight Fusion, Pierre Stratum for Sean Terry, and War Queen, the Hodelakis runner, um, ran 2.1 lengths behind Far Park last time. That gives us some sort of chance. So I'm going light in the last race. But for me, James Goodman... And the whole Interbet team, hope you have a great day's racing at the ball.